So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to find and order the correct part for your appliances. In our example, I'm gonna order a part for the refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a damper motor assembly for the refrigerator. For the oven or the range, I'm gonna be ordering a receptacle for the cooktop heating element. And for my washing machine, I'm gonna go ahead and order the door lock assembly and the striker. And before we hop on the computer to start finding and ordering those parts, there's two more things that I wanna point out. One, if you have a really old appliance, there's a chance that the parts for your appliance, some of them may no longer be available. The only way you will find them is either through eBay or some other used parts store. Number two is that in order to find the right parts, you will need the model number of your appliance. If you're not sure where to find the model number of your particular appliance, I do have a video that goes over all the common spots where to find the model numbers on all the household appliances. So if you need to, refer to that video. And now let's hop onto the computer and see if we can find those parts. The three sites that I like to use to look up appliance parts are dayparts.com, searspartsdirect.com, and repairclinic.com. The reason I use multiple sites is because sometimes one site will not find the model I'm looking for, but another site will. Let's start our demonstration with dayparts.com to find the part for my refrigerator. I already have the model number typed in, so let's just press enter and see what results we get. Nice! Dayparts successfully found the model number I'm looking for and it gives me a row of diagrams I can click on to locate the part that I need. It even has a wiring diagram of the fridge which you can zoom in on. That's pretty awesome. But let's go back to our diagrams and try to find that damper motor. My guess is that we will find it in the controls diagram, but if I was not sure where to look, I would simply look at all of them one by one. On the right side, we have a list of parts that are in the diagram on the left. You can either locate your part manually by looking at the diagrams, or you can try searching for it. Let's try searching for it once. I'm going to try typing in damper motor and it looks like damper motor did not come up with any results. Well, whatever, let's just look for it on the diagram. Looks like part 115 is exactly what we need. Next, let's find it in the parts list. And here it is, 115. It's actually called a refrigerator damper control assembly which is why I couldn't find it when I searched for damper motor. And wow, do you see the price? Let me show you something interesting. If you copy the part number and look it up on Amazon, you will quickly notice that you can get a hefty discount by shopping around. And if we look on eBay, it looks like we can get an even better deal here. And it says they're brand new, so that's nice. Okay, let's go back to day parts and try the search box again. When you are searching for parts, just remember that less is more because it seems like every appliance parts shop has a different name for the same part. For example, my results would have been better if I simply searched damper. Let's try that. Voila, as you can see, the damper assembly pops right out. Next up is searspartsdirect.com and here we will be looking for the element receptacle for my range. I already have the model number in here, so let's just go ahead and press search. Very good, it looks like we have an exact match. There is a row of diagrams here as well, and the receptacle will likely be in the control panel diagram. If you know what your part looks like, it really helps with the manual search, since parts are not always in their literal locations, like here for example. The element plugs into the receptacle, so you would think that the receptacle should be somewhere by the element, right? Wrong. It's actually right over here. Diagram number 961, and the clip 741 is optional, but I would normally order that as well. On this site, the parts list is a bit annoying to use. It's narrow and it loads slowly with a leg, so it's easier to simply find the diagram number and then plug it into the search. Like this. And here it is. It looks like it comes as a set with the wiring harness and the clip included. This time the price isn't too bad, 20 bucks. But let's check anyway. Copy the part number, 
paste it into Amazon, and <laughs> yeah, looks like you can get four of those sets for $26. Personally, I think I would go with Amazon. Okay, moving on to repairclinic.com for the washer parts. Wow, I'm surprised that Repair Clinic has no results. They're usually pretty good for looking up parts. Hmm. Well, let's try day parts instead. Copy, paste, and it pops right out. Here are our lovely diagrams, but let's try our luck with the search feature again. It should be called something like a door lock. Nope, no results. Well, how about a door switch? And since less is more, let's only type in switch. Looks like we did get some results, but no door switch. You know what, never mind. Let's find it manually. If we look closer, here it is, number 14. We also wanted the striker, and that should be number eight. If we go down our parts list, here is number eight. The proper name is Washing Machine Door Strike. All right, and if we keep scrolling, here is number 14, Washing Machine Door Lock Latch. They seem to really enjoy long names. Unsurprisingly, it's a staggering 100 bucks. And unsurprisingly again, the same part is half price on eBay. But anyway, let's go back and give Repair Clinic one more chance. Let's try putting in my range model number this time. Okay, good. This time it found it. Repair Clinic is a little different than the other two sites. It doesn't show you the diagrams, but instead shows you the most frequently ordered parts for this model. As I expected, coming in fourth place is our element receptacle. Long story short, if you don't want to look through diagrams or try your luck with searches, start with repairclinic.com. So there you have it. That's about all I wanted to show you. These are the three sites I use to find the correct parts for appliances. If you know of other great sites or have some juicy knowledge nuggets to share, we would love to see you in the comments section below. I thank you for watching, don't forget to tapity tap that like button, and I will see you next time. Hey Jay, what? What is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? I, I don't know. The hippo is really heavy, and the zippo is a little lighter. That was so lame. Hey, I got something way better for you, man. So, I just went to a wedding reception between two satellite dishes. Oh yeah? Yeah. The ceremony wasn't that great at all, but the reception was amazing. <laughs>